Hi and welcome back, my name is Emily. In this video I will be creating one card with a one layer card panel and I will be using a new stamp set from Miss Ink called I Believe and I think this is an amazing stamp set and I love this large sentiment that says when you stop believing in Santa you get underwear uh, so I wanted to, of course, use the underwears in this stamp set and I decided to go ahead and stamp them all out and create nearly a one layer card. So I have some tricks in this video on how you can do this and make a good panel. So my first trick is to start in the middle and also to mount all the stamps that you are planning on using to a individual acrylic blocks so it's easier to pick up, rotate and use uh, um, as you go along stamping out your pattern here and you could see that I didn't have like plan out the spacing and everything and I will show you later on how I fix if there is some uh, spots that I think is too large and I have picked out a couple of colors that I know go well to goes well together but after a while here I decided that I didn't like the red I didn't like the yellow so I will just keep this really simple and only use green and teal uh, blue colors here but then I had these underwears that I already had colored out since this wasn't a tri panel I couldn't just erase the colors because I know that that would have smeared and made a huge mess of everything. So when I was coloring this I know that I needed to fix my mistake in somehow. Could I cover it up with a die cut piece and put on top? Of course I could have done that but that wasn't the look I was going for. I wanted to have a vellum piece floating on top of my panel here. So my trick for fixing this is just coloring in an image, cutting it out up against the edge and then putting it over. So if you would have like tilted this in, in sideways, you would see that this has a little bit of a raise to it since we put something on top of it. But I will cover this up with my sentiment in a second here and nobody, I think nobody would ever notice that this was, wasn't a one layer card and the bulk that this gives is nearly it isn't noticeable for me anyway so that is just a trick if you have spent a lot of time coloring in a background pattern make sure that you don't throw it away just because you didn't like one of the colors that you used try to fix it in somehow in some way because i know that you will be able to do it so here i have that large uh, sentiment and i will use some uh, where's a fine or where's a mark ink? I always mix up the names of those two inks, but this is the sticky one, and I will coat it with my favorite gold uh, embossing powder, and then I will heat set it off camera. I never heat set anything on camera because my mat doesn't like the heat from my heat tools, and I'm afraid to warp my surface here, so I'm just doing it up in the air. Uh, away from my cutting mat so I decided to create like I think you can call this a banner right and I just um, marked out using my grid mat there where the center point was and then I drew some lines up until that point just to create this point on this vellum I hope that makes sense and uh, I don't um, vellum doesn't like adhesive I know I talked about this a lot in previous videos so I wanted to make sure that this got stuck to the back side so I just flipped this over my panel and adhered it to the back side uh, so that is really handy and I also took the time to fibble with some adhesive and um, that raised this up from the surface because I wanted that a little bit of a dimension between our busy background pattern and our sentiment just to make sure that everything was uh, readable when the recipient got this sentiment or this card. So that is why I took my time to do it. And this is another trick for uh, filling out those gaps that might appear when you're creating your background pattern uh, the way I made it. So I'm just taking Nuvo Nuvo drops and putting it, this is in white, just putting it in the spaces and I am uh, doing this like freehandedly, randomly and different sizes and different amounts uh, just filling out the background pattern. I really like how that looks in the end. Another trick is to go around with a white gel pen fixing any mistakes that you made. Perhaps for example there I 
got some Copic coloring outside the lines and I'm just fixing that line. So here is my finished card. I hope you liked it. I created a second one just uh, for fun. I created an underwear Christmas tree. I just masked up everything. I don't know if I love that card, but I just wanted to show you because I thought it was a fun idea. So if you like this video, please give it a thumb up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. And until next time, have a great day and Merry Christmas. Bye!